Okay, so good day. Um, um, you mentioned that you had some problems, you know, understanding what this lady is talking about. So let's just dive right into it, you know, to be, to be, um, will I say which word will I use now? Um, to dig in into the explanations, okay? So without further ado, um, let us start. First of all, I think you'd like to see my face, so let me show you my face, okay? So this is me. Hello, good morning. Um, so let us dive into the business of the day, okay? I'll skip and I'll start again, okay? I'll be taking you on the subject economics. And for today, we'll be looking at the theme, principles of economics, and the topic, basic tools of economic analysis. As we are very familiar with, economics is a science. And in science, we observe situations in the economy, we analyze situations in the economy, and we interpret the situations based on our, on our analysis. Okay, um, first off, before I explain that what she just said now, um, it's very important um, that you understand, like she just said, that economics is a science, okay? Now, science doesn't just mean, like, physics, math, chemistry, okay? It, it, there's what they call the scientific method. So, any course of study that actually follows the scientific method, you know, of, um, of getting information, it's called the science okay so in economics why it's called the science is because we look at the market we observe the market we take notes and all those things and graphs and tables and we analyze and we make inferences based on our analysis okay and we use our data to try and make some simulations of the future past present and all that and predictions so it's a science because it follows scientific methods of observation hypothesis theory and all those things i don't know maybe in the course of your economics um, study in secondary school you might have seen they say okay law of this and uh, I don't know if I can remember any laws but law of this and law of that okay so that's that's why it's a sign so let's get back to it and to do all of these we use tools these tools for us in economics are called basic tools and they are charts they include graphs they include measures of central tendencies like the mean the median and mode so quickly hold on um i'd really really like to um explore deeply into those measures of central tendency and why they are called measures of central tendency it, it's i think understanding of these concepts are very very important okay the so <laughs> they are very very important Okay, but why do they call them measures of central tendency? I don't want to go into the topic now, but that's a topic that we are definitely going to consider just to give you a heads up. Okay, so let's get back to it. We'll be looking at tables. Tables are orderly layouts of rows and columns. Basically, tables are used to discover relationship between variables. We have a table with... Okay, hold on. Let's hold on there. They say um, tables, um, if I got her correctly, she said um, tables is uh, like arrangement of data in rows and columns. And they are used to get the relationship between variables. Hmm. Now, what does that mean? It means that, first of all, what are variables? Well, if you look here, you see on the table, you see what they call the roads I'm thinking is called price, and the other one is quantity demanded. That's the QD. Okay, that word, that 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 idea of price is a variable because it can change. Let's say, um, take fuel for instance. Now we understand that fuel has not really been stable. You know, in the past five years, it has gone up, come down, and all that. So because a given quant, a given um. So any anything that can change, okay, that can change in its value or quantity, is called a variable. Take for instance now, maybe your height as a human being. Your height, that idea of your height is never fixed. It's never a constant, okay. You can never say that you've been exactly the same height from where you were born up to now. Over the years, you have been, you know, um, over the years you have been changing 
in your height okay and because of that you are growing taller so that's what we mean by um, um it's a variable okay so any quantity that can change in its value is called a variable and how does it show relationship well it shows relationship um sorry sorry i'm just price okay. and sorry let me see if i can get back to that place okay very good now it shows relationship in that if you study this table okay what they are telling you is when price is is two naira the quantity demanded is okay two naira right the quantity demanded is eight thousand units of whatever it is okay and when it's um three naira is seven thousand units hold on there first it what this table is trying to show you like the relationship part is that there is obviously some sort of tie-in between quantity demanded and price and we can see that in our behavior as human beings okay if the price of something starts getting higher you find out that less people begin to demand for that thing okay and so that is the relationship that the more you know price is um is, is increasing the less the quantity de um, is demanded and this is just a very simple relationship there are some relationships that are very very complicated just like in maybe a, a, um, a boyfriend and girlfriend relationship sometimes there is a, this goodness between the a, an increase in the love and in the emotion and sometimes there is this decrease there so when they say relationship they are basically asking you how does one thing affect the other thing it's, it's it could be a variety of millions of ways okay so um understanding what this word relationship means in mathematical and economic context is very very important and i hope i've made that clear okay so let's get back to the business and columns basically tables are used to discover relationship between variables we okay. have i hope i've explained that they can be used to discover relationship between variables um the more we go on the more you find and see how exactly this relationship works for instance we can we can determine exactly how much in how much increase in quantity demanded okay sorry i'm i'm stuttering i'm sorry we can determine exactly how much increase in quantity demanded per unit price of increase for instance here the the price increased from 2 um 2 naira to 3 naira we can from this table look at okay at 2 naira it was 8000 at 7 um sorry at 2 naira it was 8000 um units at 3 naira 7000 units we can now see that there is a difference of 1,000 units. So only when you arrange your um, in your your data in some sort of orderly manner can you easily um, get this relationship. If not, if your if your um, graph was or sorry, if your table was just scattered around, you won't get uh, um, to see such relationships. Okay. So just imagine if a boyfriend and girlfriend, you know, arrange their relationship life in a table for you to see okay today we did this today i was angry at him today he was angry at me you know that kind of thing so looking at that table you can you can just let's say for a couple of six months in that table now if you're the one looking at it you can see their life expressly on that table you can see okay on tuesday or so, so dates they did so and so and so and they were happy so it gives you like a very um descriptive summary and a straight to the point systematic summary of their life that's the same way a table in economics does okay i hope i've explained that point okay let's go to the next one okay a table with price and quantity demanded this table is just basically to look at or analyze the relationship that price have with quantity demanded okay so from the table we can easily say at a lower price of two naira more quantities were demanded and at a higher price of nine naira fewer quantities were demanded another group of tools are charts and charts are simply sketches okay so um you've explained the one for um for tables okay so let me stop here and, and check out if this video is actually good then i'll upload it to my youtube channel okay um, see you guys later.